Previously, we have studied about the function of ADC and how it works in the microcontrollers as well as the output that generated by the ADC module because the microcontroller used by the embed modules has a 12-bit ADC inside the microcontrollers so we'll produce a digital result with a total of 12-bit length. The result is stored in the register called AD0GDR and the location of the result which is the 12-bit is located start from bit number 4 up to bit 15. Take example of our previous exercise, this 12-bit output from the ADC can be obtained from this location start from bit 4 up to bit 15 inside the AD0GDR register. And unfortunately, inside this register, there are 32 bits of value and we are only interested on this ADC output which is the 12-bit located in the middle of the registers. So unlike the digital input which we, we can read a single bit easily from a FIO pin registers, reading a 12-bit of a ADC outputs will be slightly complicated. And therefore in today's video we will look into what are the techniques that we can use to in order for us to process the result from the ADC output. So the first thing we would like to do is to, we need to filter out the rest of the bit which is we are not required and maintain the 12-bit ADC output SP1 inside the AD0GDR register. And of course the most common method that we use is using an AND operation. And then we figure out what is the masking value we should use and directly remove the rest of the bits while keeping the 12-bit that we, we want from the ADC. What we have been done previously in order for us to maintain the 12-bit, we have to end with a 1, start from bit 4 up to bit 15. And the rest that we would like to remove, we will end it with the value, the bit 0. So if we convert this binary into a hexadecimal, we will get 0. Then the AD0 GDR register also is a memory map register and the address is given by 0x. So once the ADC process completed, the ADC module will try to generate the result and put it into the AD0 GDR registers and we can simply wrote the result of this AD0 GDR registers provided that if let's say our R0 we already initiate it with the address of 4003 and 4004 which is the address for AD0 GDR registers by having this instruction we basically move the content of this 32-bit registers into R1 and then we can perform an end operation of our R1s which is the 32-bit value from AD0 GDR registers with the filter that we have figured out which is 000 FFF0 so let's assume we already have that value as well so in R2 then we can easily do an end operation with R1 with R2 and the result we saw in, in R1s Let's say our original value of our AD0 GDR register is XXXX, 9A5 and X. So 9A5 come from the 12-bit ADC output. And of course, there are 32 bits value in this register and we, we would not know what is the current value there. So that's why we have an X to represent the unknown. If we do an end operation with the filter, of FFFF0 then the output from this operation will be 0, 9 the reason is that anything no matter what is the value of that bit whether it's 1 or 0 if you end it with 0 you will end up with at the end the value when you end with 1 will maintain the original value on that location so after the end operation, we will end up with the 0009A50. That will be slightly easier for us to process 
since that we have removed the unknown or unwanted bit from these registers. However, we can't just simply get the value and do our calculation or operation afterwards because if we look at the original output of the ADC, the value that we get from the ADC output is 900 A and 5. However, because the bits of the ADC output doesn't start with 0 in the AD0 GDR registers, instead of it, it start with bit number 4. So when we wrote the whole 32 bit into R1 and we do an operation, the result of the ADC output, instead of 900 A and 5, it has become 9000 A and 50. After the end operation, we have another process so that for us to move the bit number 4 in AD0 GDR register to bit 0 so that the result of the ADC output will start with bit 0 instead of bit number 4. With that, we can remove the pending 0 at the back. This is what we call in the shift operation and there are two types of shift of code in the available in the ARM instruction set. For the first one is logical shift left and the second one is the logical shift right. The logical shift left is used to shift the bits to the left and the logical shift right is used when we need to shift all the bits to the right. For a logical shift left or logical shift right, it takes three or run. So for the first one is the destination registers. Then the second operand is the source registers. The third operand is the number of bits that you would like to shift. Take an example of our ADC operation. We, because we need to shift the bit 4 up to bit 0. So the total number of shift that we need is 4. And since we need to shift to the right direction, so we need to use the logical shift right of code. Then after the end operation, we have shift filtered out the rest of the bit that we don't need. This is the value that is produced by the ADC module. So we can do a logical shift right of the R1 because the R1 has the latest result after we do the end operation. And then we shift it four bits to the right. So once we have do the logical shift right, on the register 1, so R1 finally will have the actual value 0x9a5 exactly as what the ADC has produced in the first place.